What's going on everyone? My name is Shady and before the video starts, just to let you guys know that on December 21st through the 22nd, I'll be doing a charity live stream for Toy for Tots, just like I do every year. The last two years actually. Um so hopefully you guys can make it and all that stuff. Uh if not, if you're not able to make it, at least make a donation. Every little bit helps. You know, every little bit help can help a child discover that that little Christmas they can get. So, anyways, um, the Facebook, uh, my Facebook has a bunch of uh, information on there. Go ahead and check it out. I'll leave the link in the description if it's not there. Um, and also uh, the web page for the charity event itself. So that is on the Toys for Tots website. But I will leave a link down below for you guys to actually click on and go check it out. So no, no money will be coming to me directly. It will be going directly to Toys for Tots. So I won't have anything to do with any of that. So as I said, every little bit helps. And if you guys can share the share the uh, the campaign, that would be amazing. Share it with your friends, family, acquaintances, anybody, and be there for the live stream at 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. on December 21st to the 22nd. So hopefully see you guys there, and I'll see you guys next time. Later. What's going on, everyone? My name is Shady, and welcome back to the Beast Inside. I have been waiting for this game because of the fact. I haven't been able to get it working for so fucking long. Excuse my French. But anyways, I haven't had a, a, any re rhyme or reason why it would st just stopped working all of a sudden. It just I just kept getting black screen and whatnot, so I just kept trying to fix it as best I could, looking up forms, trying to get in contact with the developers and whatnot, but I just could not get it working no matter what I did. And then all of a sudden I decided I was gonna try to re uh, uninstall it, reinstall it, do everything I could on my computer to get it fixed. Um, and what, and lord and behold, and there it is, it's actually working now. So, last I checked, we uh, left off just about, just finished reading the journal and whatnot of Nicholas Hyde, in which case, um, I'm back with, um, I forget who this person is. Oh, those are creepy pictures. And it's kind of, oh. Alright, well, there's nothing on this thing, so let's, uh, oh, is that a minute? Real quick. This one looks unhappy, but don't worry, little buddy, you've got wings, so you can fly away to a nicer place. Yeah, you could. Let's throw that there. Didn't really throw it that far. Okay. Wait. What? Oh, that's just me picking up a box. All right. Well, let's go check on Emma here. And if you hear clicking, I apologize for that. I can't do anything about that. My mouse. I'm right-handed, so my microphone's on my right side. In which case, so is my camera. Yeah. So yeah, that's that. I can't really do much about that whole thing. Locked. Locked. All right. Oh, Emma. Oh, broken TV. In which case, it's now even more broken. Where art thou, Emma? Are you still in the bathroom? Oh, what's this? A wrench. Am I gonna bash somebody's skull in or something? What am I doing with that? What is this? What is this? What? Oh, okay. Batteries? I probably need those later. Watch. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just pipes. Bottles. I better talk to Emma about it. I will in a minute. Damn, stop rushing me. Alright, fine, I'm gonna go talk to her. Can't go in there. Honey, you won't believe what I found it. Um Hey, Emma? Can you hear me? Emma I have a bad feeling about this. I have a very, very bad feeling. I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary. W what? A fuse must have blown. 
Bea, darling, go to the basement and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? Mm. No appreciation at all. Now I gotta go down to the basement to find out why there's no power in the house. I don't think there's anything else in this house. Alright, well, let's throw it there. What's her problem? She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. Ha! Locked. Is there anything back here? No? Oh, the back door. Alright. Noise, noise. Alright, let's just go back down to the basement. Power's out, so how am I supposed to be able to see anything down here? I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe I can find one in the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. Hmm. Definitely. Ooh, what's this? Mom spent her childhood here, but she never talked about it much. I'm glad she thinks this is where Emma and I should settle. I can't rem imagine raising a kid in Boston these days. What does it say? Adam, our dearest son. This house belonged to our family for many decades. Some even called it the Stevenson's Refuge. But when me and your dad moved to Boston, we thought Grandpa's just gonna sell it, as he said he would. Well, he didn't, surprisingly. He left it for us in his will. And now you and your lovely wife will live here, raise your kids, and simply enjoy life far away from the turmoil of our dangerous time. I can't even imagine I can't even imagine a better place to settle down. Take good care of Emma. We'll visit you next sometime next month if my aching hip allows that. Mom, PS Dad thinks you should be the one what dad thinks you sh he should be the one come up with a name for your son or daughter <laughs> okay uh, I have no idea why he's insisting on that maybe he's just getting old and tries to leave some kind of legacy anyway oh some kind of legacy there's a period there all right uh, anyway act surprised when he mentions it to you Alright, I will take it and add it to inventory apparently. What's in these drawers? Anything needed? How's this? A candle. That might help, but it won't last very long. Nothing important apparently. Whatever that note was. More candles. And a clock? An R clock. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm. Mm hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary. Throwing it. There we go. Ooh, what's in this one? Alrighty. Alright, alright. Nothing in there. Whoa. Okay. Never mind. Moving on. So you said that there's something to add it. Let's just take a look. There's no point wasting time. I'll grab a flashlight from the attic and head to the basement. Fine. Where am I supposed to find a flashlight? I didn't even see oh. Is that a flashlight? It is a flashlight. Holy crap. Alright. It's not new, but it should do. It got a very powerful bolt. Alrighty, I shall take it. Add it to my inventory. How many pockets could this guy have? What is behind this door? Alright. 
down. Oh, going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going down to the basement now. Where scary things are gonna happen. I already know it. I already know it. Scary things are bound to happen. How do I turn on my flashlight? Oh. Scared of a horse? The heck? This horse will haunt me in my dreams. Okay. It's literally a bat there, though. You could have taken that real quick and then bashed that thing. There's a lot of stuff here. Anything interesting? Anything interesting in these? Ooh, something here. It's an antique, but in mint condition. That's what I like. Doesn't look like it's been affected by the ravages of time, so maybe I can use it to break a few Russian ciphers. I don't really know. Alright, let's keep going. What's with the creepy music? God. I haven't encountered anything yet. This axe, I want that axe. Locked. I bet it's chiming has startled many people. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. Where are the fuses? That's a good question. Shall we not look for them right now? Oh. Why did the music just stop? I'm very disturbed by that. Ugh, that chair was so heavy. There's lanterns here. Can I take this knife? I don't take this knife. No, throw it at people. I uh, didn't go very far. Oh well. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, here's the fuse. Strange. One's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Who could have taken it out on purpose? Maybe there's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. Oh, there's a key here. A key to the shed by the house. Looks very fragile. I'm sure it's going to take only one time to open it, and then it's going to break. Yeesh. I don't like the basement at all. It's very, very creepy. This shed real quick. This guy running the muck. Really. Wait, where was the shed at again? I feel like I'm not supposed to go this way. I feel like this is not the way to the shed. That is a tree house. Nope, that's definitely not the shed. I'm um, probably going to have it down there eventually, but not right now. This 
is the shed, right? As I thought it was. Is there another shed that I'm supposed to be looking for? Well, I don't think so here. Doesn't look like there's one. I'm pretty sure that's the shed. I'm 100% certain that is the shed right there. I'm supposed to go through. I don't know why I'm going to go in there. And I don't know why there's blood on this thing, but uh, that's a thing that's on there. Oh, let me jump over. Am I supposed to blow it up with this? I don't get it. I'm confused. There's no... i just take out the trash like normal. Oh, well, it won't fit. Alright, well, I'm just gonna put it there again. Close that up and just say forget this. I don't know. I'm so pleased. Where's the shed? Maybe I was going the right way. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the tree has some shed, but I don't think it is. Leading out. Damn, there are no fuses here. Of course. What the? F it's gonna say the same thing. What is this? Where did all the blood come from? A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? That's a very good question. Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? Quantum localizer. Okay. Impulse generator, quantum scanner, quantum sensor, and regular sensor, and a VLF display. What is this designed to do? Allows it into... Uh, analysis of kinetic energy uh, preserved in so called quantum traces, enabling the user to identify whatever that is. I don't, I don't know. Uh, blah blah blah. Da, 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 da. Alright, well, that's good to know. Let's take a nap. Oh, I've got one of the scanners. But there's still no fuses. I'm still looking for a fuse. I got a can. Which didn't make any noise. I got an axe. Alright. Whoa! Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Emma? Honey? Oh, crap. Something's not right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Wait, what did they say in training?
Press X. They said this in training. Uh, in training, uh, press X to equip and unequip the device. Localizer allows you to detect electromagnetic and quantum traces. Quantum clouds, per se. Uh, this icon, which looks like a parachute, almost, maybe. No, no, it's the quantum scanner thingy. Uh, informs you that the cloud is near. Press space to continue. Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who is here in a different time. Oh, a silhouette. I should follow the localizer. Green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. This is the place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, and I need to scan it. Localizer found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. The fuse is missing. Some clothes are lying all covered in blood and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible, otherwise I won't see a thing. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. Due to their nature, clouds can be unstable and their readability may be affected by anomalies. In this case, you will have to destroy them all. Find the anomalies in your surroundings. You can make it easier by using the right mouse pet. There's Destroy an anomaly, hit, hit it with an EMP charge firing from the device. Hold your left mouse button, then release to fire an EMP charge. The highlighted areas around the localizer screen 
indicate the number of anomalies to be destroyed. The anomaly. Now I have to charge the localizer and hit it with a beam. Destroy all after destroying all the anomalies, return to the quantum cloud. I did it. Clearly, someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. Localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. It must have went up from here. It's not even dry yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. I clearly dragged something heavy through that gate. Damn, the gate is closed. I need to look for a way around. Break them out. Blood hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. Damn it! Closed. Just closed. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... <laughs> Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. I'd better check what the localizers detected before I go in.
is he? What did he hide here? A hunting knife. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it, just in case. Time to go back to the barn. Maybe I can find a side entrance. I need to try to get inside. This. this wasn't just some poacher, more like a fucking sadistic hunter. As if it's coming from the inside, the animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. I could use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up.
I should cut down the deer. I should check the carcass. I think there's something in there. Somebody opened this gate. Oh, maybe I did that. Right. Maybe I did that. Oh, this is. Sick. I think I'm gonna puke. What's all this equipment? And why was it in? Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there's the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got a goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. I remember back in the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult. I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. But clearly, the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. The power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much pole. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. And it's only the third month. What's it gonna be like by the ninth? This woman. You want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. Ta da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? Where do we start?
Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Ugh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition... It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. I will actually continue this in the next episode, guys. Um, look forward to more episodes, though. Now that I finally got this game working, I am going to continue this for the next episode. Seems like with Adam, it's kind of uh, slow. Uh, but with, with Nicholas, he gets all the scares. Or something. This guy got a little scared by his wife. His wife. So, therefore, uh, that doesn't count. Yeah, that didn't count as a good scare. Okay? I may have jumped, but I was not scared. I was trying to scare you guys. That's all I was trying to do. So, therefore, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this episode, leave likes, comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.